Storm Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Well, hey and good evening, Ohio Valley meteorologist Tyler Vanji here just to break down this weather as we head through your work week. What to expect after a cold day with cloud coverage and some scattered rain showers. Well, for the time being, we're taking a little break from those rain showers. 44 degrees right now at your local Wheeling Airport. And those windy conditions continue to plague us from the west southwesterly anywhere between 10 to 20 miles per hour. Those winds aren't going to go anywhere anytime soon, likely to plague us for our day tomorrow as well. But for tonight, uh, we're still going to continue with those rain showers, more so light rain showers and very sporadic as we head through your night tonight. Now, here's a look at your satellite and radar. Just showcasing why those rain showers are making their way across the panhandle. Well, we're still dealing with that low pressure off to, towards those lakes, and it's actually grabbing some cool air, as you might have felt already this morning. Rather cold, right above the freezing uh, level. And now we're going to continue to filter in this cool air, and that can grab some snowy mix. I'm not expecting a whole lot, but you might just see some reminding us that we just left winter. Uh, now for our day today, we maxed out right around 48 degrees, so definitely not a warm day at all. Right around uh, 10 degrees, colder than our average. No record setting heat or chill, but tomorrow morning, expect your temperatures right above the freezing level now. Not to mention, we are under a hazardous weather outlook for some snow flurries and a little light accumulation there on the surface will be just above the freezing level. But from there, we'll move forward and uh, max out right around 56 degrees. So a big warm up from compared to today. We're finally getting rid of that low pressure system and also getting rid of some of those winds. So starting to taper out those windy conditions as we head into your afternoon. More so the second half of your Tuesday looking a little bit better. But here's your chances for a rain. We'll stay dry through much of this work week. It's not until we head into your Friday that we start to introduce some more precipitation and cloud coverage associated with our next frontal system. Now, I do want to remind everybody, if you just planted some plants or maybe you have some in pots, maybe bring them in over the next few nights. Seems like we're uh, in a bit of a trend here for temperatures dropping down behind our cold front close to the freezing level. A potential to see a frost freeze warning go out over the next couple days. The temperatures will rebound over this weekend and then uh, rinse and repeat as we head into your next work week. Now, here's everything timed out on Predictor. Song and dance with the rain showers and windy conditions for our night tonight. So looks like a little bit repetitive. But then as we head into your Tuesday, all that's left is a little bit of cloud coverage. Off into the distance is going to be some dry air that's going to make these clouds retreat back up into the north and then sunshine across the board just before sunset a big warm up just before sunset as well filtering in southwesterly winds and that'll usher up that warmth from the south now here's a look at your seven day forecast windy conditions for our tuesday then everything starts to clear out as we head through your work week we'll stay dry until friday i expect precipitation to return back to the ohio valley and that trend will continue through saturday sunday and then clear out for your monday